I was in the market for for an, for a car, and um, I kind of wanted to steer away from the typical Hondas like uh, Civics, uh, Integras, and um, so I started doing my research, and I found out about these, um, and they were somewhat affordable at the time, and uh, I just decided to go ahead and and, uh, and pick one up. Just kept doing more and more, and then when I finally moved into my own place and I had my own garage, put this thing on jack stands, pulled the motor out, and went at it, you know? Welcome back to the Motive Anatomy. Today we have Art. Art, thank you so much for making the time for us, man. Tell yeah, us, no problem. what do you drive, man? So this is a 1997 Honda Prelude uh, base model. 1997 Prelude base. There's nothing base about it anymore, and we're <laughs> going to get into it. But first, first of all, thank you for making time. Thank yeah, you for thank opening you. up your doors. Thank you for coming by. Tell us, what is Entice Motorsports? Uh, so Entice Motorsports is our shop here. Uh, located in South El Monte. Um, we do pretty much a little bit of everything from uh, pretty much stuff like this, custom builds from the ground up. Um, a lot of custom fabrication and turbo kits is like our, our biggest thing here. So um, you'll see right now, um, everything done on this car has been done in house by us. So it's a good example of our, our work. Okay, wow. So this build has been built here, you know, for enti enticed more yeah, boards. Yeah. And obviously the shop does some other stuff that don't discriminate when it comes to uh, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel No, drive. no, a little bit of everything from exotics to Euro to Japanese uh, street cars, um, a little bit of everything, you know. That's awesome. Well, let's get back into the Prelude, man. Why the Prelude? Where did you pick this one up and where did that whole bug start for you? Um, so, since I was in high school, I've, I've always liked Hondas. Hondas have, have um, always um, attracted me. Um, um, I was a big fan of the 2000 Civic Si. That was like my car in high school that I always wanted to own. Um, I did have one for a short period, but I had to get rid of it uh, due to some problems. But uh, before I had got that one, um, I was in the market for for a, for a car and um, I kind of wanted to steer away from the typical Hondas like uh, Civics, uh, Integras and um, so I started doing my research and I found out about these um, and they were somewhat affordable at the time and uh, I just decided to go ahead and and, uh, and pick one up. So where did you find this one? Um, I forget the city. It was uh, Westminster, I think. Okay. So yeah. OC? So, yeah. Yeah. In the OC area. Um, so I, I bought it pretty much stock. I think um, all it had was like some Type S wheels. Mm. What's the vision for it once you pick it up, man? Um, when I first got it, I just wanted it. Uh, I just wanted to lower it and uh, put some nice wheels on it and just daily drive it pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I never thought I would take it to this extent, pretty much, yeah. Well, we're, no one's complaining here, but yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. no longer a daily driver. Right? Yeah, yeah, far from it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like over the years, um, I just kept doing more and more. And then when I finally moved into my own place and I had my own garage, put this thing on jack stands, pulled the motor out and went at it, you know? Wow, the rest is history. Yeah. Well, let's get into it, man. Uh, let's start with the front end. What have we got going on, man? Uh, so it's actually a JDM front end. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, side markers here on the front bumper. Um, it's a OEM uh, front lip. Uh, uh, save on carbon hood with the arrow, arrow catch hood latches. And the honeycomb front grille. Man, absolutely gorgeous. Do you know the color code or the, the name of the color? Um, so it's supposed to be a uh, Ford magnet, magnetic metallic, uh, but the paint shop kind of, it's, it's a long story, but pretty much I didn't get the exact color, but it was close. So I don't know the exact code for it, but it's pretty close to magnetic metallic. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Um, what are the future plans for the front end? Um, 
I might leave it as is. Uh, I don't want to go too flashy. I might, I'm thinking about putting a front splitter, but I'm not 100% right now. Down the road, you do see yourself tracking the car, right? Yeah, I do want to take it to the track and have some fun with it. Uh, so pretty much, I wanted this car to be a build that I could pretty much do a little bit of everything. So take it to the canyons, take it to, uh, the, to the track and do some... Um, some uh road racing um a fun street car that it could drive around and, and it'd still be functional um pretty much a, like an ultimate street car it was like the goal that i that i wanted to go after for this wow yeah uh, so yeah. you definitely are achieving that <laughs> tell us yeah. about your suspension what do you got going on man so i have the uh reaction coilovers um highly recommended they're the 32 way adjustable i believe um but yeah great uh coilovers um all the bushings on the car have been replaced to poly bushings so it handles turns really really good um it has the spc upper ball joints on the front the rear i have the um true heart upper control arm and the lower toe arm and what else I think that's it for the suspension. Cool. Nothing too crazy. And tell us about your wheel and tire setup. What do you got going on? So uh, it's the Kumo Extas uh, V720s, um, 245, um, 245, 40, um, on, mounted on the raised gram lights, 17 by 9. Um, I believe the offset is 38, if I'm if I Not remember mistaken. correctly, yeah. Um, <laughs> Very aggressive setup. I, I really like it. Man. Yeah, it's. I could probably get one size wider tire in there, but for the functionality, I think this is like the max that I could get with this wheel and tire setup. Awesome. Um, Brake so, system, what do you have going on? So it's actually the Acura RL uh, brake calipers with the Fat4 Customs um, adapters. And then it's running the, the CSR uh, rotors all around with the EBC Red Stuff brake pads, uh, Goodrich stainless steel braided uh, brake lines. And I believe that's it. Or, and it actually has a brake booster delete as well. Oh, nice. And then the brake lines were all uh, redone by uh, our buddy uh, Richie Works. That guy is the best with uh, with wiring and um, bending up uh, some brake lines and stuff. So nice. you you guys you guys will see a little bit of that under the hood, but highly recommend it if you guys are ever in the in the market for some in the market work. for some custom brake lines. Yeah. Cool man. Uh, and then the side skirts. Uh, they are actually four inch PCI side skirts that I uh, paint match to the car, mm, so nice. they're no longer uh, satin black. Cool. Sunroof delete. Yeah, so this is actually a slit, slick carbon uh, sunroof delete plug. Um, it's custom made. Um, saves a good, uh, good amount of weight right yeah. there. Good. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. And then the rear, man. What do you got going on? So the rear is uh, the the Mugen uh, or Mugen uh, rear <laughs> rear valence. I mean, I'm used to saying Mugen, so I'm gonna say Mugen. Um, <laughs> The rear valence um, and everything else is pretty much uh, OEM. I, these are actually the the JDM tail lights, so they don't have like the little uh, bulb on this side. Mm. Um, I might switch back to the OEM ones because it actually lights up the whole thing red. Oh, okay. um, and then they're uh, tinted a little bit just to give it like that little stealthy look. Super. Cool. And then it also has the uh, OEM wing. I think it's the mid-rise or I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, it's, I think it's the mid-rise. Anything major that you see yourself doing to the car in the uh, exterior? Um, I was thinking, uh, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to do it. Um, so if, I don't know if you guys uh, know the, the S2000 with the, I think it's the, um, what's the, it's the Fender, um, What's the? Not Jay's racing, right? 
Yeah, I think it's a, so we're going to do something. I'm going to try to get something to 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 be similar to the S1000J's racing front fenders. So it'll be cut like out. the little cut out here with the maybe some vents on top. Maybe maybe okay. try to keep it a little less uh, aggressive. aggressive, but yeah, that's that's one thing and then maybe get it. So um I got to talk to my buddy uh Slick um and Make just get them all made in carbon so it'll match the hood oh, wow. and the the front yeah, the that's, the that's sunroof a major uh, project right there yeah yeah it's a it's a lot of custom work but but slick is the man when it comes to uh carbon work so oh, man. so yeah and then uh tell us about your exhaust system so exhaust is a full three inch uh stainless steel all all tig welded and back purge here in house with the uh Vibrant Ultra Cry Resonator and a Gretti uh, Universal um, Canister um, Muffler. It's still very comfortable. Yeah, it's not bad, right? It's pretty smooth. It's not all bumpy. really cool man thank you for this experience this, this is yeah, no problem man. like the prelude definitely is not the most popular chassis when it comes to modification but this one you can yeah. it shows that I definitely didn't want to give up and, and get another car that's easier to modify I, wanted, I was set on this and i i stuck to it and we're here now i want to try to do uh maybe like a third gear pull um I'm gonna have to feather it because it's just gonna spin, so. Oh, that's why? I was just about to ask you, what's the benefit of third grade? And then you answer it. Yeah, because second is just gonna spin. It's, it's harder to control second. Um, we'll see right now what we could do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go back home, man. <laughs> well, fuck. Uh, and that was, those were the last things he said. <laughs> we'll, still, we'll stay safe. <laughs> you didn't give me that much confidence on that <laughs> one, man. Looking down, we'll see what happens. Oh yeah. shit, that's not what I want. Oh, I say if I go hard, I'll break the transmission. Nah, we don't want you to break your <laughs> transmission. Nah, nah, just something mild. I'm cool with it. I already got my fun, which is get to know you, get to know the story. Thank you for the food. Yeah, um, yeah no problem. Thank but, you uh, for coming out here and, uh, and filming this video. Nah, I, thank you, man. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, so tell us, what are we staring at in the cockpit? Uh, okay, so it is a. We'll start off with the steering wheel, Nardi steering wheel with the NRG quick release kit. Um, K tuned uh, race spec shifter with the race spec uh, cables with the fifth gear lockout and the shift stops. Nice. Um, so I have Pro Sport gauges, which would be the oil, water, and um, and boost gauge and then i have the a and y band to the left of it um also i have um buddy club p1 limited seats bucket seats with uh, status racing harnesses and uh, auto power um, roll bar wow. and then we have uh, one of our custom made here in house uh, battery relocation um mm. boxes or trays so with the little dimple dies and um, and uh, custom uh, bent here in house. What are the future plans for the interior? Um, let's see. Uh, I'm thinking about getting like the um, the European floor mats, um, the OEM Euro floor mats. Um, what else? Um, I think for the interior that might be it. Maybe paint the back half of the uh, mm. the uh, the car to match the the the, the body. Outside. Mm -hmm. That way it's not just like the old OEM paint. But for the most part, it's pretty much done. <laughs> you forget how to drive normal. <laughs> that clutch just starts shaking. <laughs> It 
feels very responsive. Yeah, it's super responsive. Very little lag. We'll see right now. Three something? No, that was the first tune. Right now it's making about 420, 430 to the tire. Damn. Fix the alignment because <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> yeah, it is nearly an adrenaline rush for sure. It just felt like it kept going faster and faster. It almost yeah. felt like it was boost by gear. Yeah. Had you not tell me, I would be like, oh shit, it's, it's boosting more and more and more. Yeah. Loki, I'm happy there's a red light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it sucks to have a red light. That shit is fucking scary. Yeah, it's definitely fun. Dude, it's more than enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. I would just keep it at that and go wheel drive and that's it. Yeah, it's always enough until you get beat by somebody. That's probably, that's <laughs> why. Yeah. I'll just follow you today. <laughs> Disconnect. What? Yeah, so this is not a base. <laughs> yeah, far from it. But I like if if um, I could recommend one thing to anybody trying to get into the prelude. Um, into the pre and dude uh, community. Uh, I'd recommend a base model because you don't have to deal with all the ATTS and the suspension is a lot, a lot more complicated. And uh, if you're gonna do an extensive build like this, uh, it's better just to have it simplified, you know? Ah. And then just build it how you want it, you know? Well, let's talk about simplified. This is not simplified. Tell us, what are we staring at, man? So it is a uh, JDM H23A blue top motor. Um, it is bone stock other than valve springs, retainers, and head studs. That's not bone stock. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just throwing that out there, okay? <laughs> Don't say bone stock and then start naming yeah. all these things. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so H23, um, what kind of, so tuck radiator, what kind of radiator are you running? So it is the uh, rye wire uh, tuck radiator. Uh, it's the CSF radiator that, that he uses. Um, with the custom AN lines and connected to this custom uh, swirl tank made by Tractuff. Mm, okay. And then uh, tell us about your turbo setup. What do you have going on? Okay, so turbo is a Comp Turbo 5858. Um, custom manifold made here in house. Downpipe. Uh, Wastegate is re recirculated into the downpipe, so it's a little ex extra quiet, um, a little bit more stealthy. Um, and then of course it connects to the custom made exhaust that we have. Um, the intercooler is custom made as well. It's a dual back door with uh, two and a half inch piping. We try to, I try to keep it as uh, stealthy as well. You can't even see it. Yeah. Wow. And then the piping is as short as we can make it to, to help with, uh, with spool. Mm -hmm. So with the small turbo and, and uh, short piping and everything, uh, we see full boost at 3,500. 3,500? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fast. Yeah, so yeah, it spools that. up real quick and it's, it pretty much feels like a nitrous car. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so also, okay. also uh, so it's a tile blow off. Uh, all the piping is uh, TIG welded, of course, and then it has the vibrant uh, V-band clamps. So super uh, easy to install and uninstall. Uh, the intake manifold, has it been modified any way, shape, or form? Um, no, the intake manifold is a, is a Skunk 2 Pro Series. Okay. Um, it's pretty much, I just painted it and uh, plugged up some of the ports that I don't need for vacuum. 
and it's it has the k-tuned uh, throttle body um, and that's pretty much it for the what about your fuel system so, what are you running so the fuel system is um, so starting off with the fuel pump it's a uh, am320 okay. uh, the e85 compatible pump and uh, it's running a thousand cc injectors um, a thousand cc grams injectors with the AM fuel rail, fuel pressure regulator, and uh, full uh, dash six AM lines all the way to the fuel hanger. Wow. And right now, is it tuned under E85 or 91? Yeah, it's full straight E85. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah, it's tuned uh, on E85. I'm thinking about going flex fuel, um, not. To, to run 91 in it, but mainly to, to uh, keep an eye on the ethanol content levels. Mm. So that's that's one thing that I have planned uh, soon. Transmission stock? Yeah, the transmission is a JDM. Um, I believe it's the, here, uh, I think it's T2, 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 T4, T uh, JDM, but everything is stock inside. Um, I recently broke second gear and uh, <laughs> I had a, I had Jerry help me uh, rebuild it with my old transmission. Oh, wow. Okay. So we were able to salvage the gears uh, from the old one. What about these motor mounts? I don't recognize them. They look very so nice. So those are actually uh, made by BB Alliance. It's a prelude uh, uh, Facebook group mm -hmm. uh, and they, they do um, custom uh, billet pieces so like you'll see the power steering delete oh, nice. uh plate there um this is actually their their um what's it called the um what's the name for it uh, the, the, the cooling the yeah, cooling plate. yeah it's cool it's a cooling plate but it's just uh, wrapped in uh, in um carbon uh what else so yeah they make they make uh a few parts for the the prelude people um catch can is from where the catch can is a vibrant catch can uh with the vibrant uh, uh braided lines and then uh the connected to the to the valve cover that we welded reason as to the brake uh boost delete um i just wanted to simplify the uh the bay a little bit more oh, okay so uh it's it, it it gave it a lot cleaner look um so yeah so also um richie bent the uh stainless steel hard lines and then he relocated the uh the prop valve under the dash oh wow so it's like as clean as we could get it right there so you don't see any brake lines in the engine bay nice deleted the spark plugs uh so it's the uh the the distributor um uh, how would you say it? So it's a coil, coil, coil on plug, the K series coil on plug um, conversion uh, made by uh, Total Race, um, so that it, it allows you to delete the distributor. So you can see, uh, I have it capped off there. Um, eventually, I want to do a cam trigger kit, but it's really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> this is honestly one of the cleanest engine bays we've had on the channel. Uh, absolutely gorgeous man um uh, kind of hard to ask but what are the future plans for it i mean um it okay perfect <laughs> so i am in in uh i am currently uh building a uh a h22 long block so we're gonna do uh sleeves pistons rods the full the full uh fully built uh mm -hmm. a long block um so that's that's coming next because of course um, I'm already as it is I'm pushing the car to the limit well the motor to the limit, mm -hmm. um, so that's that's one thing that I have uh, in the in the works in the works. Now speaking of pushing, if you don't mind sharing numbers, what kind of numbers are you pushing? Um, yeah, uh, let me get you guys the exact number. Um, Every horsepower counts with his Yeah. <laughs> so I, I had just got it. I just recently got I it. I remember you said 127. It was yeah. 128. <laughs> yeah. So I had recently just got it uh, retuned. Um, the first time we made 367, 306 torque. What? 
and that was on seven pounds. Um, we turned it up to, I think it's running 16 pounds now. And um, it actually made, uh, here, let me get you the exact numbers. And it's not boost by gear, right? So no, that, 16 pounds at 3,500. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, I love it. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, so that's another thing that I'm going to be working on as well, getting a boost by gear. Oh, okay, cool. So now it's at 16 pounds. Ooh. Yeah, so now it's making 472 horsepower and, oh and 393 torque, and that's on a Dynapack. So to the tire, we're probably looking at 420 to 430 around there to the tire and you want more yeah <laughs> well, why not <laughs> yeah, right? that's always the answer with you guys yeah oh man that's so, absolutely insane yeah um so yeah pretty much uh in the future one one thing that i do want to do is uh do an all-wheel drive conversion hey, i was about to tell you yeah all that power needs to go to all four wheels now yeah because as it is it just spins like crazy uh uh once you get the tires uh, warmed up it starts to hook a little bit better but it still spins them um so the goal is fully built long block um like around 600 horsepower all-wheel drive <laughs> yeah all righty all right well thank you so much man for making the time uh, honestly this is super clean amazing work that you guys do here in, in ties and obviously yourself future plans that you may have forgotten about and any shout outs um uh, let's see okay so of course i want to repaint the car and and do like a full-on like a hundred percent paint job uh i've had problems with body shops and stuff so i want to get the car repainted so um eventually it's going to be sent out to slick carbon and he's gonna repaint the whole car and and do the the wider front fenders with the cutout um but for the most part other than that and the all-wheel drive um i think it's gonna stay as is you know a couple little changes here and there to clean it up a little bit but for the most part i think it's pretty much uh where i want it to be cool any yeah. shout out man of course uh shout out to anybody that has helped me work on this car and and um and uh and wrench on it whenever i needed help uh so hopefully i don't forget anybody um so shout out to all the people that have came by and helped me uh, wrench on the car i really appreciate you guys um uh so shout out to john of course the owner of entice motorsports um he is the reason why pretty much this car has gotten to this level um he guided me a lot to to uh to uh, make decisions on what parts to get and and what route to take um, so big shout out to him, uh, shout out to, shout out to Richie Works for all the custom lines, Track Tough for the custom swirl tank, um, Slick Carbon for the sunroof, uh, delete, the carbon sunroof delete plug, um, let's see who else, um, shout out to, let's see, hmm. Uh, okay, uh, shout out, I forgot, uh, of course, biggest shout out to the, uh, the tuner, Daniel, Daniel Butler over at Churches. This car runs, it doesn't even feel like it's turboed, tuned, anything, it runs perfectly. Uh, I have no complaints there, he absolutely killed it on the tune. Um, sh also, shout out to uh, Jerry Built Racing for helping with the... Uh, the transmission and a few other things. Um, he really uh, got me out of a pinch there for for uh, for that transmission. He knocked it out on the spot uh, and got me back on the road uh, rebuilding it. Um, let's see, let me check. Um, uh, also, shout out to Manny. Uh, he hooked the car up with uh, LEDs all around, so. Um, if you guys ever need LED lighting, just reach out to me and I'll connect you with him. Uh, uh, so far, the best LEDs that I have used on, on, on all my cars and uh, they're really good LEDs and they last and they've been super reliable. Um, who else? Um, 
Yeah, hopefully I'm not forgetting anybody. If I did, I'm sorry. Um, trying to forget as many people as I can, but pretty much anybody that has put their hands on this car and helped me out, you guys, uh, shout out to you guys for the most part. Yeah, well, really thank great. you so much, Art. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, one of the cleanest builds uh, in all of Southern California. So oh, Thank you, man. It's appreciate it. It means a lot. It's crazy, man. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, an, it's amazing. And so... Um, Cannot wait for the future plans. The all-wheel drive system in this will be pretty amazing, especially pushing the the, the, number, the numbers that you're kind of hoping yeah. for. Uh, so big shout out to you, Ben. Thank you so much. Thank you. For Thank you time. for coming Thank out. You to entice Motorsports for opening up their doors and allowing us to interview here. Uh, by far the cleanest uh, place I've ever interviewed anybody. So uh, thank you so much, man. And I can't wait for the future plans. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. understand why a, a sane person would want to do more than that but If somebody could take my pulse right now, they'll be like, my homie, you gotta <laughs> get yourself to a doctor right now. <laughs> Definitely an adrenaline rush for sure. I don't think predators are supposed to move this fast, man. No. Especially <laughs> bases. This is awesome. Thank you, man. I'm shaking. <laughs> my heart is pumping too. <laughs> Dude, you're driving don't tell me that <laughs> shit <laughs> you're like i'm nervous too i want to faint don't no, i'm looking at afr no you're supposed to be looking at the road man awesome man i, I really thank you for this experience because it's yeah. it's i'm glad you're enjoying it and fuck dude time. that's what we do it for right such a treat man